Okay, so I just wanted to share some tips on how to break your dog if um, they have a tendency to be dominant. Now, um, you know, it's easy to mistake dominance with um, even aggression or, um, you know, just being hyper, being a puppy. So this is Cookie. She is a foster. I've had her for almost two years now. And um, when I got her, she was uh, dominant. Now, they say because, you know, they say to get the opposite gender um, of you. So because we're both females, I think it might make it actually a little bit worse. Um, but I'll just go over this really quick. The best way is obviously to keep them beside you. Do not let them walk in front of you. And if they do start to pull or, you know, she's actually not pulling where she's very good on the leash. It's just when she gets a little bit excited, she will start to pull. But if I don't even have to pull back, I just, um, I just let her not pull me and she knows and she'll fall back a little bit. Um, that's really the best way. It, it's very helpful, especially if you're in a situation where, you know, you're in the public and there's a lot of other dogs. Um, she, you know, if they're already in front of you, then, um, you know, it's, and say if you're nervous too, you're passing that through the leash. Um, this leash is like an umbilical cord. I mean, we don't have to speak. I don't have to speak to her. She already knows. And it's also very important that you have the proper leash and the proper collar. Now, I'll show you something. This collar is meant for her to be um, actually on like a stake. I mean, not like a stake stake, but like, you know, outside. And so if anything was to happen, this actually did happen. Um, I think there was a coyote in the yard or something and she just freaked right out and she took off and this snapped off. And that's actually what I want. You know, I don't want her to be in a situation where she can't get away. So that just this just snapped off snapped off um there are other ones that wouldn't snap off and if you're if your dog's ever in a situation where you're not there right away um those are the best ones to go with you can actually and with dominant dogs it's probably better to get a harness of, of some sort no she's kind of like easy she's kind of like a weird uh a weird body you know she's got this big big shoulders and skinny skinny butt so she's, it's kind of hard to get a harness that fits her now I've seen those rope um, rope dishes that you can actually buy and then wrap it into a harness and yeah so that's definitely the first thing um, I do have a truck coming so I'll let you guys know but yeah that's that's just a couple tips you know and also it took us it took her a while to get into that if they are pulling too much, the best thing is just to, you know, stop, adjust your body language, stand, you know, tall, shoulders up, and get them to sit if they're really being bad, and you walk. And also, you know, making them sit before you go out the door. You always go out the door first. They don't get to, you know, sitting before they get, get fed too. Those are all great ways to uh, keep, keep them in check. So... Anyways, have a good day, guys. Bye.